are those who go down to the place of silence. That's why I tell you that it is you to worship God. I want to worship God and tell him, Father, we worship you, Lord. You deserve it, oh God. You deserve it, oh praise God. You deserve the glory, our Lord Jesus. Father, we cherish your holy name, God. You deserve it, oh God. How sweet you are, God. How fantastic you are, God. How marvelous you are, King of glory, God. We cherish your holy name, God. You are so great, God. Yes, you are. Everybody just worship in this song. Huh? for the Holy Spirit in this place. Ah, 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 ah. That is not the clapping. I have said, clap for the Holy Spirit in this place. I don't know whether people you are getting it. I don't know whether you are understanding it. But I have said, clap for the Holy Spirit in this place. Just honor the presence of God, please. This is not a Catholic church, please. This is not a Muslim. This is not a mosque. Just worship. <laughs> Praise God. Did you know <laughs> that we can worship God in different ways? Yes, even mere clapping hands. Did you know that you are worshiping God? I have said clap for the Lord. God bless you. May God bless you. I thank the choir. CCM choir, may God bless you. Yes, may I take your seats. Hallelujah. I have said the choir, not the church. Sorry. <laughs> Let us follow protocol. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Yes. Without even the choir, I have not said you see it. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. At this minute, before I, 
Before I go any further, yes, I want to honor the presence of God in this place. For sure, the moment I have entered here, I have felt the presence of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Before I introduce myself, I want to honor our pastors in this place. I want to thank them for welcoming us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pastor Jemin and the group. Hallelujah. Yes. You may have your seats now. Praise God. Yes, I know that I don't have time. Hallelujah. But there is the word that God has placed on my heart. But before I speak it out, I want to introduce myself. My name is Naigamai from Christy City Secondary School. Hallelujah. Yes. And greetings from our beloved Papa. Hallelujah. Papa Hangton. Hallelujah. Yes, he's our spiritual dad. And he's not, he has not been able to make it. But he has said greetings to you all. He has said that he loves you so much. Yes, hallelujah. Yes. Today I am the preacher. Yes, there is the... Someone that God placed on my heart previously. And the someone is the chosen generation. Hallelujah. I have come here to tell you today. Yes. That you are the chosen generation. Hallelujah. You are the chosen generation. Yes. I don't know why. God blessed that salmon on my heart. But it is that salmon for today. Hallelujah. Did you know that you are the chosen generation? You may be meandering around asking yourself. Why is it? Yes. That... I was not created in those days of Moses. Yes. You may ask yourself, why is it? I was not created in those days of Elisha. Hallelujah. Because God knew that you are the person who is fit in this generation. Hallelujah. And that's why God has sent me here today to tell you that you are the chosen generation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the chosen generation. So I don't want you to look at the situation around you. Yes, this is what God is telling me that you are the person right person in this generation. You ask yourself, why is it that I'm seeing many wrong things around me? Because God has allowed that. Because you are the right person to change the generation. Hallelujah. When you see something wrong in that generation, I just want to tell you that you are the right person in this generation. Hallelujah. Yes, when you look at David, yes, God chose David. Yes, it's not because he was mighty. It is not because he had a chance. No. No. No way. It is because he was the right person. He was the person to fit in that time. Hallelujah. Yes. It's not God. It's not that God, like, took pity of him. It's not that he was the youngest. That's why they chose him. Yes. It is not because he was handsome, but he was the right person. Hallelujah. So even me, I have come here to tell you today that you are the right person in this generation. It is, not, it is just because you have not yet realized that, that God has chosen you to stand. Today I have come to talk to you who don't know themselves. I'm telling that 
the ministers who are sleeping Ngamba arise today. Ndi God is telling you arise because he has chosen you to fulfill a particular thing. Yes, to minister to him. O, o, o Hallelujah. When you look at Abraham in the Bible, Ibrahim, mu, mu Bible. Yes. he never had a child. Yes, but as he was there, God told him that I have chose you to be the grand Katonda Hallelujah. He was not fit. Even he had some needs. You may have some needs here. Yes. You may be sick of HIV when you want God to deliver you. Yes. But I'm telling you the truth. Don't look at the situation around you. This is the right generation. This is the right level. This is the right standard. That God, God made you Yes, to stand at this era. Hallelujah. At this era. Mm? Hallelujah. Let me hope that I'm speaking to some people here in Nakawa Pentecostal, Pentecostal Church. Hallelujah. Yes. We are going to open in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verses 4. Jeremiah chapter 1 Yelemia. and verses so, 4. Okay. People on the projector. Yes. Can Kuna. a person help us to, help, to open the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 and verses 4. Anybody in the congregation to read for us? Jeremiah chapter 1 and verses 4. Yes. Yelemia. Yes. Mm. Mm. Chapter 1 and verses 4. Verses 4 says that yes. the word of the Lord came to me mm. saying, mm. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Then verse 6. Yes. As the sovereign Lord, yes. I say, mm. I do not know how to speak. Mm. I am too young. Mm. Seven. Mm. But the Lord said to me, mm. do not say I am too young. Yes. You must go to everyone yes. I send you mm. to. And say whatever I command you. Yes. Eight. Yeah. Do not be afraid of them. Mm. For I am with you. Mm. And will secure you. Declares the Lord. Yes. Number nine says that. Mm. Then the Lord reached out his hand. And touched my mouth. Mm. And said to me. I have put my words in your mouth. Yes. Ten. Be See today I appoint you. You may stop there. Hallelujah. Amen. This was the call of Jeremiah. Yes? And by, by the time God called Jeremiah, ah, yes, Jeremiah was not aware that it was time for him to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. So when God called him, and told him, now come and serve me, Jeremiah told him, Lord, for sure, I don't know how to speak. Yes, like some of you, like some of you, right now you say, I am still young for sure to stand on the pulpit and minister to God. Praise God. Yes, but God is saying, He knew you before. Hallelujah. He knew you before. You were formed. In, in your mother's womb. Hallelujah. So this is the time. This is the chance I'm telling you that you have to stand and minister to God. Don't look at the way you were formed. Yes, some of them say, ah, 
I am too tall Abamu to stand Mugamba to the tindi, pulpit and minister. Say, I, I am too short to stand and minister. But I'm telling you the, the thing Na right now. Gamba, God is saying he knew you before you were created or before you were formed in your mother's womb. Can you just imagine that? God knew you before. So this is the time that you have. Yes, don't look at the errors that you have. Yes. Don't look at the situations around you. Yes. Just stand and serve the Lord and serve the mighty God. Hallelujah. When God was choosing David, yes, he never looked how, he never saw how handsome he is. No. No way. Neda. Because it was, by that time, Kubanga Samuel had gone. Samuel, Samuel had gone to choose the like yali, to anoint the king. Yali, yali but God never told him the right kabaka. person. Ne just told him mutumutu. that go to Jesse's house. And I have yise. chosen among his son. Era muba, muba that I have chosen one of them king. So for him when he reached it there, so we are took, you find uh, that story in the book of 1 Samuel, uh, chapter 16 and verse 7. Yes, when, when Samuel reached in, the, in Jesse's home, Samuel, yes, he looked at first, he first saw Eliab. Yes, and he Eliab. thought that Eliab was the right person. Yes, because he, he saw when Eliab he was a tall, nice Kubanga young man. Te, yes, he was tall and handsome. Then Samuel anyira. thought in thought and said, Ah, for sure, God has chosen that one. Yes. But you know what God told him? I have rejected him. Because for me, I don't see the, the for me, I don't see the way people see. Kubanga Hallelujah. Yes. People look at the physical to determine the spiritual. But I'm telling you the truth. Our God does not look at the physical. Our God looks at the inside. Hallelujah. Looks at the inside of you. Yes. Some of you, you can stand there and say, ah, for sure. For me, I don't know Kulilia. how to speak like Jesus the way Moses did. Moses, Moses said, when God called Moses to God, free his people, Moses said, I don't know how to speak. Yes, he had forgotten that he has a powerful God. Hallelujah. So I don't, I don't want you to summarize yourself. And don't allow people also to summarize your life. Hallelujah. Yes. I want you to follow what the Lord is telling you to do. The Lord is telling you right now that arise on your feet. Yes. Arise and can minister to read. Yes. I can give the example for our beloved Papa. When the Lord told him to go and buy land in Manzi to build a school. Yes. When he went there, he bought land, he built the school. Yes, but it was not that finished at first. But the villagers, oh my God, every person who was bypassing said, I am that there is a school. Yes. Yes. They summarized him and they said, This young man, he doesn't know what he's doing. Hallelujah. Yes. But right now, do you know the good news? Should I tell you the good news? Do I, should I tell you the good news? Now we have lawyers. Now we have. Engineers. Hallelujah. Now we have people pursuing. Yes. To become doctors. You get it. You may study in a, a poor place. Yes. But I'm telling you the truth. Yes. You don't have to look at the physical. You have to look at the spiritual. The Lord is telling you. Come and serve me at this generation. Yes. Did you know. That God has chosen you. To stand at this generation. And serve him. Yes. 
Did you know that? Did you know that? Yes. So I'm telling you right now to arise because God is saying you are the chosen one. You are his royal priesthood. Yes, you are the holy nation. Hallelujah. You are God's possession. Yes, I just want you to take yourself on a different level. Yes, don't take yourself on the level that people see you. Yes, just know that you have the living God within you. Yes, some people, <laughs> you know, when we get saved, eh, we for, we, when we get like saved, eh, we forget all about what is what God is saying. Yes. We start following our own things. But I'm telling you today. Yes, I'm telling you today. Don't look at the physical to determine the spiritual. Yes, God does not do mistakes. Yes, you know for us we use this uh, slogan at our school. That God does not do mistakes. Yes, if you think that he has done a mistake. You go back to number one that God does not do mistakes. He has a reason why he created you as this generation. He has a reason why you see different stuff around you. He has a reason as to why you were created in that family of your dad in your mother's family he has a reason why that lady who gave birth to you is like that because he knew that you are a different person you are the one to change this generation that's why I'm telling you today arise arise ministers arise hallelujah I want to see someone yearning to serve God I want to see someone serving God with one heart not following what people talk about you not following what the, the, the physical Yes? You only follow the spiritual. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of John 15, 4, Yes? Jesus Christ is telling us, Abide in me, and I in you. Yes? So that you may produce different fruits, good fruits. So I'm telling you, abide in God. Yes? Abide in Jesus Christ, and he will abide in you. And you will not be disappointed. So people of Nakawa Pentecostal Church, I am just beseeching you, don't look at your families. Yes, if you are to serve God, you have to look at different ways. Eh? You are, no, you have to be one-sided. Yes? You don't have to give it another thought. Hallelujah. Yes, you don't give it another thought if you are to serve God. And I have learned that very much from my spiritual dad. Yes, he does not give it a second thought. Yes, when he's to serve God, for sure, he decides once because he knows it is beneficial to the kingdom of God. So you have to be royal to the kingdom of God because you are the royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Yes, I may not have, like, I may not have. Uh, Hallelujah. Okay, we'll leave that one. Hallelujah. I wanted to see whether people are attentive. So, I just want you to tell your neighbor that you are the chosen generation. Tell your neighbor that you are the royal priesthood. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor that God needs you at this generation to arise and minister to him. Then you will see the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, you may stand up on your feet. I mean, we be there, come on, come Every time we say, "Yes, we na pita, na nge na ita ba." Yes, we na pita, na nge na ita ba. Yes, we na pita.
나게 나